Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we're taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends leader from the game vs. Abomination build a figure wave and the leader is yet another classic character that's been in desperate need of an update since the toy biz days so I'm really happy that Hasbro finally got around to giving us this um, awesome Hulk villain so let's go ahead and get into it starting with the packaging you are able to see the figure you can see the one thing that he comes with which is the build a figure piece it says leader down here or Marvel's leader I don't know why they always put marvel's leader like people already know it's from marvel right that's kind of weird that they do that there must be some legal reason why but it, i always think that it's funny but anyways on the side of the box we get a look at some really cool looking artwork on the back we get a look at all the other characters in the wave we, we see the build a figure and then we see the very short biography talking about the leader over here we have some more awesome looking artwork and that's about it for the packaging it is collector friendly the figure looks cool in there but who cares about the box let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the leader all right, so here we have the leader right out of the packaging, and I think this guy looks really good. I like the costume design they decided to go with for the character. I think it looks nice. The paint applications are very well done. There's a couple of minor imperfections, but nothing major. For the most part, everything is sharp and looks very clean. And this is a body that we have seen before. It's the same body that we've seen on the Mr. Fantastic figure, and I think it works really good for less muscular like smart thinking type of characters so that's cool and it does have some good articulation and all that good stuff and i believe that they only use this body one time i could be mistaken i was wrong with captain marvel there was only like three figures that i could think of that were made on that body but there's more like six or seven characters that they've done so far they just kind of slipped my mind but in this case i thought about it i looked around i asked around i think that mr fantastic is the only other uh, character that we've seen on this body so i think it's a good buck it looks pretty nice there's not a whole lot of muscle definition or anything like that but it looks really really good and with the leader they added on these pieces these like overlay pieces like we have this little shoulder chest harness thing and a little belt that has some sculpting work on it and it feels different you know so i didn't even realize that this was the mr fantastic body until i had it in hand so they did a good job of making it feel different and as far as the hands go they gave them one kind of like loose gripping hand but you know it's not too bad and then over here we have an open hand which is nice because you could put it on his chin and make it look like he's thinking or something but the real like main attraction with this figure is the head sculpt and look at that awesome looking head sculpt i think they did a really good job with this i love the facial expression that they gave him he definitely looks like he's contemplating something looking all evil you know so that's really good we've got the goatee going on there he's got his arched eyebrows the hair looks pretty good too, but it, it is a little plain. It's just black and slick back, but for the most part, it looks good and it's applied pretty well. But as you can see right there, there's a little bit of black on the green where it shouldn't be. And then on this side, a little bit of the hair is missed. But, you know, you can't really see that unless you're zoomed in. Just looking at the figure, he looks nice. But yeah, that head sculpt is really, really good. Check out the eyes. Yeah, they did a good job right there. And then check out his big ass dome. We've got these veins right here couple more on this side so it looks nice and as far as the rest of the figure there's not a whole lot of details or anything the little uh shoulder harness thing i guess or whatever you want to call it has a little bit of sculpted work on it but nothing major there's definitely no paint so it's kind of hard to see the details on here but yeah you can see there's some sculpted details and then the belt actually has some details sculpted on it too but again no nothing major you know some paint in there would have made a little bit of this pop but just as is you know it's fine it's cool and uh yeah the figure looks good everything else is pretty smooth you know there's no details for the gloves no details for the boots or anything it's just smooth but at least the paint is all clean the lines are all sharp and the figure looks good overall so i am happy with the way the figure looks and i would say a big part of the reason why is because of this awesome looking head sculpt and just in case anyone's curious here's a quick look at the leader next to the old toy biz leader from the face off two pack that came with the hulk and I've always thought that this was an okay looking figure as far as the sculpt goes. There's a lot of nice details and stuff like that, but the articulation was a little bit lacking, mostly because of the torso area. I mean, he has double jointed elbows and knees and all that good stuff, but it just kind of sucks that his torso had nothing. I don't even think, oh, it has the waist swivel. <laughs> That's about it. Um, aside from that, I think this was a cool looking figure, but it was in definite need of an update. So I'm happy that Hasbro came along and finally gave that to us. And I like the head shape that they went with this time around. This head shape is just a, a little crazy, you know? I mean, it's cool, but it's just a, a little a little much for the leader, you know? I prefer a leader to look like this, you know? So I'm happy with, uh, with the update here, but 
you know, I I'm still going to hold on to this Toy Biz one because it's, it's Toy Biz. So I always try to keep these guys around just to pull them out and mess with them and just appreciate how cool they were back in the day. But, you know, Hasbro's definitely killing it. And just like Rage, Mach 1, and Captain Marvel, the leader does not come with any accessories. The only thing he does come with is the Build-A-Figure piece. So what we have here is Abomination's right leg, it looks like, and it does look kind of cool. I like how the foot has a bunch of nails. It would have been cool if they painted those, but they did not. They kind of got lazy right there. But uh, yeah, that sucks that he didn't come with any accessories. But, you know, just like I said with all the other figures, um, I mean, they could have put something in there. Multiple hands, maybe different heads since he always has like different shaped heads. I think that would have been cool. But, you know, they got really lazy with the accessories on this wave. So that kind of sucks. Um, I do appreciate that they didn't give him any awkward looking hands. I could deal with these hands. This gripping hand is probably useless, you know, but that's going to spend most of the time back here. But I like that they gave him this hand right here so he could have his hand on his chin. But, you know, they could have given him a bunch of hands if they wanted to. I don't know. It kind of feels dumb to keep complaining about the accessories. Um, I mean, I, obviously, I wish that they threw stuff in there, but they didn't. So, you know, what what are you going to do? You could see very clearly in the box that he doesn't come with any accessories. So if, if that's a deal breaker for you, you know, just pass on the figure. And now for oh, some I size comparisons, we have the leader alongside the Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary Hulk and the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Hulk. And I think the leader looks awesome next to the Marvel Legends Hulk, so that's cool. And you could also pair him up with the Infinity War Hulk if you want, but the Infinity War Hulk has a different type of skin color to it, you know? It has a more, like, toned-down, realistic, I guess you could say, kind of color. And the Marvel Legends ones look like comic book, cartoony, bright colors, so those two go really well together. As far as size goes, you could definitely match up the figure arts one with the leader figure, but, you know, just stylistically, they clash a little bit. But then next up, we have him alongside the old school Toy Biz Smart Hulk. And I haven't messed with that figure in quite a while. That's still a pretty nice looking figure. I think it holds up pretty well. But I would love to see Hasbro make a Smart Hulk on the 80th Anniversary Hulk body. That would be incredible. And then on the opposite side of that, we have the Marvel Legends Abomination from the Raft box set. And next up, we have them alongside a couple of Marvel Select figures, and these guys obviously look massive next to the leader. But on the left, we have the First Appearance Hulk, and on the right, we have the Gladiator Hulk. And then now here we have them alongside the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie Raphael and the Hasbro Lightning Collection Green Ranger. And then last but not least, of course, we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And the articulation on this body is pretty good. It's nothing special at all, but it's enough for the leader, so I'm happy with it. But let's go ahead and take a look. So his head can move side to side because it's on a little ball joint, so you get the side to side. You get a little bit of tilt, which is nice. You could get him into some expressive poses with that, so that's dope. He can look up to about right there, which is nice so that he can look up to the Hulk. He can look down to right there. And then he does have an ab crunch, which goes forward to right there. Not very much. Goes back to right there. He has a waist swivel. And for the arms, he has ball jointed shoulders. There are no butterfly joints or anything on this body because the, this body was originally made for Mr. Fantastic and, you know, they, they wanted to give him interchangeable arms. So as you can see, the arm pops right out. So, you know, they couldn't put the butterfly joint in there at all. But yeah, if the arm falls off on you, do not be alarmed. <laughs> it's just because it was for Mr. Fantastic. But yeah, so he does have the ball jointed shoulders. They do go all the way around. They come out to the side. He's got upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which is nice. He has a swivel at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist. For the legs, they do come out to the side to about right there. And let's see if we could get him to stand up with his legs spread like that. So it's kind of tough to get a, a good wide stance because he doesn't have any rotation at the lower legs. So it's hard to get his feet flat. You got to kind of turn his legs and stuff. So that's about as wide as his stance could get. And even here, the feet aren't all the way flat. So, but yeah, you could definitely get him to do that if you want. Oh, and then his leg kicks forward to right there. Comes back to about right there. He has upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knee on this body is pretty good. Check that out. As I mentioned, no lower leg swivel. The feet can go forward to about right there. They could come up to right there, and then he has rocking ankles. 
So yeah, you know, not the most articulated Marvel Legends body ever, but it's definitely enough for the leader, so I am happy with it. Alright guys, so overall, I like this figure. I think that he's pretty cool, and I feel like he's a really good representation of a classic version of the leader. I think that they used a very good body on it, the paint applications are very clean for the most part, all the lines are very sharp, and everything looks really good. The head sculpt is very well done, I think the head sculpt is incredible, they absolutely killed it there, so I'm very happy with that. And I'm just really happy with the overall way that the figure looks, so... I think they did good, but the big flaw with this guy, much like all the other comic book characters in this wave, is the lack of accessories, and you know what, a couple of people mentioned it in my last few videos that Hasbro should just go away from Build-A-Figures, and I completely agree with that, especially if the Build-A-Figure is going to be taking away like the budget or whatever from the actual characters in the wave, I think that it's not worth it, especially if they're going to give us a Build-A-Figure based on like the video game, like, I don't know, whatever, the Abomination looks cool and everything, I'll probably complete it, but I don't think that that Build-A-Figure was worth taking away so much from all the iconic characters that are in the actual wave. I feel like they should just do what they're doing with G.I. Joe and Power Rangers and just put all that they can into each individual character and then, you know, Marvel Legends fans have already proven that they'd go out and buy like individually packed bigger characters. So if they want to release big characters, just do it that way and then do everything that they can to make the figures in the actual waves as good as possible. And some of these are right there. Like this leader figure is cool. And I mean, all he really needed was some cool accessories and it would have taken him to the next level. Some extra hands, some extra heads. You have all kinds of possibilities with the heads. Same thing with Captain Marvel. The figure was fine as is. It's just a little boring because he doesn't have any accessories some extra hands like flight hands energy effects different type of energy effects not the same ones we keep seeing or like different heads whatever there's always something that you could think of they keep doing it for power rangers so they can they can do it for marvel legends but you know the whole build a figure thing kind of holds them back so hopefully they move away from that they probably never will but i guess we'll see once again huge shout out to cheney 180 for hooking me up with the abomination wave figures that i have so far i really appreciate it man be sure to check out the toy migos podcast if you're into toys which you probably are since you're watching this video and you're into the community and the culture and all that good stuff check out their podcast it's awesome it's a really fun listen and they always have really cool guests on there so check them out but anyways i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff peace